Hola, soy Santi. Hi, I'm Angela. Together we're realizing our dream of relocating to my homeland in the south of Spain. Along with our Australian shepherd Levi, we want to share our passion for the Mediterranean lifestyle, where the sun shines more than 320 days a year. So if you like this video and you want to join us on our journey, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Living La Vida Costa. So welcome back to Living La Vida Costa. One of, as I pet Levi, one of the biggest questions that we notice on Facebook, we're, we're part of a lot of these mm -hmm. Facebook groups, is the cost of actually living in Spain, whether you mm -hmm. rent or whether you actually purchase a home, mm -hmm. compared to the cost of living and renting a house in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the uh, different costs mm -hmm. and hopefully and we need to preface this with a few things first first of all the cost of living in spain is going to be tied directly to where you live mm -hmm. living for example in barcelona as opposed to living in the mountains of the north where you're away from everything mm -hmm. it's going to be completely different yeah. um we live uh, near alicante torre vieja we're not a large city but we are a built up mm -hmm. uh, urban area uh, it's not going to be the cheapest, but then again, I mean, it, once again, it's not Madrid or Barcelona. Mm -hmm. um, so from there on... So yeah, we're going to go over the monthly cost and just to give you an idea of how much we pay as we own a home in Spain. We'll begin with electricity. Yes, which is probably one of the main ones that people ask, like how much does electricity cost in Spain? So when I give you the, the cost, I've already broken it down and converted from Canadian to European. So all the prices that we give is already in European, so euros. Um, so for us on monthly average, we spend 61 euros a month for electricity in Spain. As opposed to here in Canada, we pay 99 euros a month. In now we need yeah. to mention first of all a few things we're going to be looking down we've got yeah. this on our laptop so if we stare at mm -hmm. our excel sheet not that we're ignoring you yeah. we are actually cheating and, and we're also it. watching the soccer game right and we're now. watching yeah, germany, germany France, which yeah. is standing at uh two, two nothing. nothing for germany so uh, yeah. i mean good soccer game but we've yeah. turned it low so if we get distracted yeah. don't blame us <laughs> um when we're talking electricity costs in spain as she said we pay about 61 mm -hmm. euros a month in Spain. Yes. Uh, you also have to take into consideration that first of all, Spain, mm -hmm. a lot of the houses have propane. Yeah. Uh, our house does not have propane. Uh, some of the houses in Spain will heat their water using propane, mm -hmm. will cook using What's propane. What's it called in Spanish? The bombon. Oh, the, uh, el bombon. Bombon. <laughs> <laughs> So, Funny name. another thing we also have to take into consideration is our house, the two houses, our Spanish house and Canadian house, yeah. are actually very similar in yeah. size. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Canadian houses are extremely different, yeah. uh, very different climate. We have a furnace in the basement, there are no basements in Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our air conditioning unit outside, and we heat using natural yes. gas in the winter, mm -hmm. which is a price that obviously doesn't translate to Spain. Mm -hmm. They don't use natural gas to heat their homes. Oh, maybe they do up north, I don't yeah. know. Uh, we're uh, in the sunny Mediterranean, we definitely don't need yeah. a, a furnace. Yeah. Our natural gas price here in Canada, Canada yeah. works out to about 79 euros a month. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's broken down over a 12 month period. Mm -hmm. We're not using natural gas in the middle of summer. No. So it, it's a high cost. Yeah. So that has to be factored into sure. the 99 euros we pay for electricity yeah. here in Canada. Yeah. So taking that into consideration, electricity definitely not a huge difference we're looking at a difference of about 40 euros 40 yeah. euros but like i said if you're in spain mm -hmm. using propane you're going to offset that electrical cost mm -hmm. whereas here in canada you also have to add on the natural gas cost For sure. so that's heating electric uh we're going to go into Water. water so what are the water fees in spain so water is billed every three months and on average we spend about 25 euros a month and here in Canada, we have a water and sewer, which is about the same thing. I think we get a bill every three months. And so these water fees also include the sewer um, and that's about 25 euros. So it's very similar. So 24 euros in Spain, 25 euros here in Canada. Once again, both countries, they're metered. Yeah. They go by usage. 
I can't, I don't know. I imagine if you rent in Spain, we don't rent in Spain, we own. But I imagine if you rent in Spain, you're going to be paying that usage as well. Yes. Here in Canada, it's usage as well, which I never understood because we have a Lots lot of water, water here yeah. in Canada. Yeah. So I never understood why it's so expensive. Yeah. But I think we do use more water here in, in Canada as opposed to Spain. Like 1, we have a dishwasher. Our washing machine is a lot larger. We have a smaller one in Spain. So I think water consumption here in Canada is a lot more than what we would use in Spain. Definitely, yeah. definitely different. Yeah. Um, then we're going to move on to property taxes. So property taxes in Spain, um, you pay that, I think it's yearly. Um, I can only go off of our previous house. And uh, so property taxes in Spain, it's called SUMA. So the fees. And I think on average, it's about 300 euros a year, as opposed to here in Canada. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's a lot of money. And keep in mind, we live in, like Santi said, very comparable home. But Property taxes here in Canada are a lot of money. So for a three bedroom house in the city, oh well actually it's a townhouse in the city, we pay almost 4,000 Canadian, which works out to be about 236 euros a month, which is a lot of money. And when we're talking yeah. property taxes, I mean, obviously it's not a lesson on how property taxes no. work, <clears throat> but that's your infrastructure, yeah. that's your schooling system, that's yeah. a, any any anything that goes yeah. uh, via the municipality. Mm -hmm. um, Canada, obviously, where we live, six months of Arctic weather. Mm -hmm. um, the roads are uh, it's minus deep, five today. Like they repave yeah. the roads every year here, mm -hmm. every single road, yeah. almost in, at least it, it appears mm -hmm. like they do. Um, so I mean, property taxes here are very yeah. elevated yeah she's already mentioned it we live in a townhome yeah. we're paying about four thousand yeah. canadian a year we have a friend that pays almost twelve thousand do canadian dollars a year just which is insane property taxes which is insane for insane. a single home insane yeah. property taxes here are out of control yeah so are we willing to pay 25 euros a month for property taxes absolutely absolutely yeah. a-okay yeah um then we're going to get into urbanization fees yeah. urbanization fees are what they call to they refer to condo fees yes. so anybody here who lives in a condo high rise and pays those uh condo fees so in spain mm -hmm. we pay about 23 euros a month that's what it's equivalent to yes yeah which is not a lot no so the 23 euros a month um uh, it's paid twice a year yeah uh, we live in a uh, where our our urban our, our urban development yes. program. We have like general meetings mm -hmm. twice. I'm not there obviously, but I get yeah. there. Yeah. I'm on a, a message board. I get the emails, and that's going to cover you know the very typical condo fees here in North America. Yeah. Any repairs that have to be done to the area. By the way, the game's over. Oh, Germany, uh, <laughs> Germany is yeah. up to nothing. Yeah. We're all celebrating. Um, but that's going to cover, you know, any repairs. I know recently I got an email that they had to repair a little bit of a sewer break they mm -hmm. had. So they, they factor that in the communication that, yeah, as well. But I mean, for. heck, yeah. 23 euros a month for condo fees. Yeah. Whereas I know most condo fees here, people that live in condos and high rises mm -hmm. and they own properties and condos in these high rises are usually paying anywhere between 250 to $400 mm -hmm. a month. Yeah. So, I mean, once again, big win for yeah, Spain. For sure. uh, the condo fees are almost non-existent at 23 euros. Yeah. Uh, then we get into another big one. Internet. Yeah, so internet in Spain, we haven't shopped around, mind you, and we are with a company called Olay, which is a very decent company, um, and we pay 27 euros a month, and that's for five internet. As opposed to here in Canada, well, Canadians, we pay a lot for internet here. We pay about 70 euros a month. And, I mean, we like she says, we, we haven't, haven't shopped, shopped around. around. Um, I know there's some really good packages yeah. out there. Maybe you can bundle like your yeah. cell phone, your television, and your internet. Once we're there and we live there permanently, absolutely, that's what we're gonna do. But for now, we just went with just uh, an internet plan for 27 euros a month. Now, we're gonna get into cell phones, yeah. which is a massive win mm -hmm. for Spain. Yeah. I made, uh, I learned by mistakes. Mm -hmm. I would, every time I'd go to Spain, I, I, I'd go to Orange and I'd buy a little SIM card mm -hmm. and I'd put it in, uh, pay my whatever, 30 euros. And I didn't realize that it's as simple as going to a gas station, mm -hmm. giving them that phone number, giving them the provider, and you could top it off. Yeah. And so which meant every time I went to Spain, I'd get a new number, which was a uh, was a hassle. Yeah, it was. So now I've, I've learned I'm paying now in Spain on average about 15 euros a month. Yeah. 
Here in Canada, we pay for two cell phones, we pay on average about 85 euros a month. And that's just basic, uh, I think it's just Canadian calling, texting, internet, and that's not any international calls, which I think with your plan in Spain, you are allowed to call Canada, which is fantastic. Which is great. Yeah. I mean, and that, I mean, that's your point. Yeah. Uh, cell phones, yeah. I mean, I think the Americans actually have it a lot cheaper yeah. than Canada mm -hmm. to Canada, yeah. where we, there's, no, yeah. there's no competition. No. And you're either, you got to go with Rogers, Telus, or Bell, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the prices are just ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, bank fees are your specialty, so yes. we're going to go into that. Yeah, so bank fees are paid uh, with our bank. We're with Sabadell in Spain, and they're paid every four months, and we pay, on average, 13 euros a month. Um, here in Canada, we pay 16.95 a month Canadian, which is equivalent to about 11 euros a month. So very comparable. Um, it still is, you know, I'm sure like we could shop around and find a cheaper bank. Um, but yeah, for 13 euros, I think that's pretty decent. But one thing I will mention too is that when you send an e-transfer, I don't know what it's called in Spain, whenever you send someone else money, um, in Spain, they charge us t uh, 95 cents. Um, every time that you send someone else money. Whereas opposed to here in Canada, we just pay our flat fee every month. We don't have to pay any extra fees for sending an e-transfer. I know that once we get to Spain, mm -hmm. a lot of these numbers are gonna change because yeah. we're gonna have the time yes. to actually start price hunting and cutting. I mean, I, I really don't want to pay 13 euros uh, a month in bank fees. Mm -hmm. And I know on the internet, I've read a lot of, a lot of blogs that mm -hmm. talk about uh, how to, how to look for banks yeah. or online banking. Yeah. Well, which, we're with Wise as well. And exactly. We use that as well. So, so our total monthly costs in Spain uh, for internet, uh, electricity, water, urbanization fees, etc., and cell phones, anti-cell cost about 190 euros a month. As opposed to here in Canada, we pay 605 euros a month. So that's about one third of the cost that we pay. Uh, that's crazy. In Spain. So that's crazy. So I mean, you're looking at one third the cost. Yes. And of, like Santi said, we haven't shopped around, so I'm sure we could even shave off some of those numbers as well. And I'm sure yeah. people watching this yeah. video are going to be putting in a lot yeah. of remarks like, "Oh my God, why are you paying that? Go to this yeah. bank." Yeah. And I mean, that's yeah. Yeah. The, you're free to put those comments yeah. in because yeah. I mean, we're, we're in the we're going to shop around. Absolutely. We're in the learning process yeah. as well. Um, there's a lot of other little fees little that we fees, pay, yeah. but I mean, we've done we've done the dinners. Mm -hmm. We've shown you like how. Like on average, probably for us to go and eat out, it's probably about anywhere between twenty five and fifty euros, depending what it is that we're eating that night. But yeah, and we don't cut corners. Yeah, we don't. We're no. not the type that you know. We're not. We're not stealing the the uh, breakfast rolls and <laughs> yeah. putting them in our purse and stuff like that. <laughs> we don't cut corners. Yeah. We have our bottle Alcohol of wine or whatever we we choose to drink. Yeah. Um, whereas here in Canada, easily. At minimum, 100 euros a pop every time we go out to eat. Minimum. Absolutely. Minimum. Yeah, so, and then another thing would be groceries. So, I mean, on average, probably in Spain, we would spend anywhere between, I would say about 100 euros a week on groceries. Here in Canada, gosh, every time we go to Costco, we're spending at least three to 400 yeah, Canadian Costco, dollars. Costco, and Costco we go at least once, I would say every week and a half, two weeks, yeah, we're there. Okay. Yeah, and cost. that's just one grocery store. So we do other grocery stops as well. But yeah, I would say at least on average in Canada, we're spending about 1500 Canadian dollars a month, which is a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. Uh, and it's, and it's only going up. Yeah. And I mean, we did that, we did yeah. that one episode on when we, uh, when, when I was a zombie walking through the grocery <laughs> yeah. store and we After were picking 28 up. 28 hours of not that sleeping. Was brutal. <laughs> And I mean, we're looking at the olive oil. Yes. Olive oil's yeah. gone up in Spain. Yeah. So the prices are going up in yeah. Spain, yes. but they're still a lot cheaper, uh, a lot cheaper yes. than what they are here in Canada. But then also you have to take into consideration people in Spain don't make as much as we do here no. in Canada. So we, we do feel for you that, you know, people that are experiencing that in Spain, that you guys have, you know, felt that pinch too, where things have, have you know, gone up in price as well. The next topic we're gonna to touch on is health insurance. So I did some research and I've got a couple of quotes and it looks like once we do move permanently to Spain, uh, we're gonna go with a company called ASSA. So we did receive a quote, Santi's 54 and I am 47. And for both of us, it's going to be 166 euros a month. So maybe you want to touch on what exactly that entails. So, I mean, for those Can Canadians are not going to be familiar with this mm -hmm. at all because I think we're one of the few countries in the world that still uh, it does not allow this to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to get with the times. But so that's, that's a whole other topic. That's a whole other topic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what this covers, I mean, if you get into a car accident and you need acute emer emergency care, you're going to mm -hmm. a hospital, you're doing all that. Mm -hmm. That's covered. 
this is for everything private. else. This your is private check, healthcare. Yeah, your yeah. your your checkups, mm -hmm. uh, anything you may have, uh, minor injuries that you want to have looked at. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have, if you need to see a doctor for everything else that we do, yeah. um, obviously uh, uh, dental, uh, yeah, vision. So th that's sorry. all included. Yeah, I was just gonna say like cleanings and fillings are also included in this plan as well, which is fantastic because here in Canada we pay a lot of money for dental. A lot of money. Yeah. Crazy money. Yeah. Um, and it's. And obviously, most people don't have dental mm -hmm. here in Canada. They either got to go through a work program, yeah. uh, pay through their benefit program. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're actually looking uh, very forward to that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, to actually have that kind of care where we can call up a doctor yeah. and actually... And it, is, it is a peace of mind. I mean, as huge. we're aging, we are getting older. And, you know, just to have that peace of mind, knowing that once we do move to Spain, we're going to have almost be insured 100... Well, we are going to be insured 100% uh, and have top quality health care um, coverage when we need it, if and when. So I think we've done the costs, the yes. differences. One thing, oh sorry, one thing we didn't talk about was life insurance. Yes. Which um, we, ha obviously we don't have life insurance now because we have life insurance here in Canada, but once we do move there, we are gonna top up and get life insurance there as well. Um, but I have, I just watched a video this morning and a guy said that for, I think he pays 450 euros a year and he, he gets anywhere, I think, between 100,000 euros and 350,000 euros um, for life insurance. So that's something that we are going to take into consideration whenever we do move. We will be purchasing that as well, just for peace of mind as well. So I hope that provided a bit of a, a uh, just an overview of the differences in the cost of living between Spain and Canada. Obviously, like I said before, it's gonna depend on what region you move to, big city versus small city, what kind of lifestyle, what kind of house you have, but it gives you a little quick idea. Um, we've done videos already on purchasing a house. We've actually taken your shopping. Yeah. Uh, we've done all that. Um, we do ask that, uh, <clears throat> that you go ahead and like and subscribe, yeah. and we'll keep uh, pumping as many videos as we can yeah. out. And we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Adios amigos.